Hi friends, uh, today I'll show you how you can connect your uh, SQLite with respect to Tosca. So first uh, give here ODBC and uh, check, let's check uh, if you have SQLite uh, drivers or not. So type here ODBC and uh, then you will see here 32 bit or 64 bit anything is fine. Just click on ODBC connections. After that uh, you will see this page and here you need to click on drivers and in the driver you need to see if SQLite uh, 3 ODBC drivers are present or not. If it is there then we are good and uh, then we can start with the configuration. So uh, dweber is a tool which I am using for SQLite. Uh, so what you have to do is uh, click on this to uh, download it and once it is downloaded open dweber then click on database and then you will see here new database connections so you have to click on new database connections from there you have to click on sqlite and then here it will ask you for the path so you have to define the path here and uh, uh, this is the path which i am using so uh, you can also use the same path and once that is done then what you can do is let, uh, if you are not having it then you can create it and then uh, you can create this Tosca data integrity executor folder and within that you need to create a caching.sqlite file. So once that is done what you have to do is uh, you will here we have driver settings so you need to click on driver settings. So once you will click on driver settings so the screen will come. So you have to click on libraries and uh, once that library so here you will see uh, multiple uh, files uh, it will be very based on the version you are downloading so you can give ok and you can check if it is working or not if it is not working then you need to download the jar file and you have to place that jar file in your C drive and then you have to add that uh, jar file to this one so for that one you have to click on add files and then you have to uh, give the path like wherever that jar file is there so you have to give ok so once you will give ok then here you will see that caching.sqlite will get create here so after that what you have to do is you have to click on sql editor and you have to click on new sql script so once you click here then uh, you will see the editor part here and then you can execute if you already have a table then you can add right directly execute it if it is not there and you have to load the file then further settings are needed so again you have to go to odbc connections and here you have to click on add so once you'll click on add so from you will see the drivers here so you have to click on the sqlite 3 odbc driver once you will select that one then here you have to give the uh, database name and data source name so source name will be caching and database name you have to give something uh, sorry not something the one that i mentioned previously so whatever path you have given in sqlite same path you have to define here as well and after that you have to click ok so once you will click ok then you will see here caching uh, data source uh, uh, name will get create ok so the next step is like uh, in my previous video as i showed you like you have to directly load the data into caching database so once you will load the data uh, you will see uh, that particular data in the caching data uh, base that is in dweber